In my new book, You Are a Prize to Be Won, I have a chapter called Be the Prize. Well, how do you be the prize? Well, first of all, by honoring your body. You know, God gave us these amazing bodies. We're fearfully and wonderfully made. And, you know, we need to take care of them. I mean, it sounds like common sense, right? But a lot of us don't. And so I encourage women and men in this chapter, you know, to exercise and to eat right and to feel good. And, you know, we can't do everything that God has called us to do if we're too tired, if we're sick, or if we if we're not taking care of these amazing bodies that God gave us. So that's the first way that you can be the prize. So also, if you're looking for a mate, I mean, let's face it, the first thing that attracts you is the outward appearance. I mean, you could be amazingly beautiful on the inside, but if you're not taking care of the outside, you know, if you're not um, dressing appropriately or you know, taking care of your hair or getting that manicure or doing those simple things, um, then perhaps, you know, you're not really going to attract the kind of person that you want to attract. I have uh, I had a good friend who um, was pretty heavy and she always wanted the guy that was in great shape. And I thought, hmm, these things don't line up. So think about the kind of person that you want to attract. You need to be that person. But more importantly, you need to be beautiful on the inside. And that comes by spending time in His presence. I never feel more beautiful than when I'm in the presence of the Lord. He makes me feel beautiful. He makes me feel like a prize to be won. So do that. And remember, you know, we have one life to live. You are the leading lady or the leading man in, in the greatest story um, that you're going to be in, which is your own life. So be the best person that you can be. And you know what? Don't wait for that person, that significant other, for your mate to come before you start enjoying life. Do what you're passionate about now. You know, I love to go hiking, and I'm always looking for great destinations all over the world, in fact, to, to climb mountains. What is it that you love to do? You love to cook. You love to, who knows? You know, you know what you love to do. Be passionate. Enjoy being single now. And I'm telling you, that's going to attract the right person.